Hello everyone, this is Prashant from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we are going to see how to use FTP connection to access or write to files in the FTP server. The agenda of the video is to explain how the FTP connection works in, in the power center, how to configure the session to use FTP connections and what are all the properties that are required to make the FTP connection. Coming to the configuration part, the configuration part is similar to the, that of the relational connections. The only thing that you need to do is you need to create an FTP connection object in the workflow manager and configure the connection attributes. After, connect, after, after creating the FTP connection object, you need to use this FTP connection object in the session properties for the source or target. So coming to the integration service uh, behavior on how the uh, you know how the process takes place, the integration service can process the uh, FTP or access the FTP files in uh, two ways based on the below option that is is staged. So this staged uh, this is staged option you can actually find in the FTP connection um, browser or editor. So in the next slides we are going to discuss uh, what is the difference when. Uh, is staged is disabled or enabled so this is the flowchart uh, when is uh, is staged option is disabled so that means uh, considering the below example you are using uh, an ftp connection for your flat file target so when when this is staged option is disabled the integration service will actually writes directly to the target file on the FTP host. So if the network or anything fails, uh, if there is any uh, failure in the network, then you just, um, um, you must run the session again in order to write uh, the required data into the flat file. So enabling uh, a stage option for your your source uh, source file that is when you are when you store when you stage a source data the integration services integration service uses ftp to create a local file so it uses this local file as the source for the session so so the uh, you know this integration service actually creates uh, the stage file uh, in the server where the where the integration service process runs so in this way it it you know it um, it avoids any partial transfers uh, partial accessing uh, due to some network failures so only once you know the staged file gets created uh, that staged file will be used as your source for the etl process So any, uh, similarly for enabling, uh, uh, similarly enabling a staged option for the target, that means uh, that means the the integration service creates a target file or you can say a stage file locally in the server where it runs, and it transfers this stage file after the session is completed. That is after the ETL process is completed. So. So if you just see the diagram that is there below, it is it is taking the data from the source database. It is doing some transformation logic uh, if you are, if have, if you are, that is there in the mapping, and after after that it is writing into a uh, stage file that is in the local server. So after this session is completed and everything is written into the stage file, this stage file will be transferred to the FTP server. So in in this way, uh, um, with the staged option, you can you can avoid the partial transfers. So, if there are any network failures, you can actually avoid uh, some partial transfers using using this option. So, uh, but if you are using uh, if you are not using the stage options for staging the source or target files, then if the you know if the session fails uh, due to some uh, network failure, uh, then you have to direct. Then you have to rerun the session. 
so that is the advantage of using the staged option and in the next slides uh, we are going to uh, see the complete demo uh, on whatever that we have discussed so far so for the demo part i just have a small one-to-one uh, -one mapping where the source file uh, we gonna access from the uh, ftp server so so let us just uh, go to the workflow manager and go to the connections tab and this is the ftp where uh, ftp connection browser where we need to uh, configure the ftp connection so I'm just click on a new so you can provide any name username and password with which you are trying to connect to the FTP server host name of FTP server default remote directory so you can you can provide the you know you can provide the home directory uh, with which you can uh, access the source or target files uh, connection reply period you can increase it if you want more resilience and use F sftp so this is basically a secure file transfer protocol and if you are enabling this you need to provide all this so this configuration part is not covered in this uh, demo we can we can configure this in the future videos so you just need to click ok i am clicking the cancel button because i have already created uh, close and in the session properties you just need to go to the mapping tab and i'm using the ftp connection for the source so i just select the connection type as ftp i select the ftp connection object and here you have an edit option if you click on that and scroll down you can see three more options which you actually did not find in the connections uh, a browser so this this three options is basically remote file name this is the exact file name i wanted to access for the you know for the source and this is actually present in the root directory so you can also give the complete uh, path including the file name that is absolute path name uh, if you are giving that then uh, this default remote directory option will be ignored by the integration service and uh, we are talking about we have already talked about this property is staged uh, so it is currently disabled so it will not create any stage files uh, in the informatica server so i'm just clicking ok and after this you have um, you have some more configurations here that is the source file name so you can provide the source file name here <clears throat> and the and the and the source file directory so if you are if you are actually using the if you are not using the stage option then these these two these two options will be ignored by the integration service and it will directly access the uh, ftp file uh, uh, i mean um, the source file from this location whatever that you are providing in the ftp connection editor so for now let us just try with uh, stage option set to no and let me uh, start the workflow So I can see the session is succeeded. So let me just go to my server machine, Informatica server, and so I'm as I'm just writing it to a target flat file. So it would be basically getting fetched in the target files directory, which is the default location. So I got the output as IBC TGT dot out, and if at all we we have we have enabled the um, stage option, then we would have seen a a, a stage file uh, being created in the source source file directory. So 
so currently we do not have we there is no file that is being created because the stage option is set to no so let us just try out with a stage option that is set to yes So after setting stage option to yes, uh, you can see that uh, it will it will create a stage file in this in this location. So it is succeeded. Let us just go to the informatic server so this is the server where my integration service is running so we can expect so we can expect the file to be created under this directory yeah we see a stage file created and let us see the target file as directory as well Yeah, even the we when we got the target. So so this is how the staging uh, stage option works. It actually first creates uh, it it first creates a stage file in the in the Informatica server where the integration service is running. So it will use this uh, this stage file uh, as a source for the session. If it's if it's a target, then it will first write. Uh, into the stage file and then it will move uh, that stage file into the FTP target server. So we also have one more example to discuss that is indirect file loading. So uh, as you would be aware this of uh, this uh, uh, entire file loading option uh, it is basically nothing but you are uh, you are accessing uh, multiple file you are combining multiple files uh, which is having a same, which is having same structure of data and you are you are you are pushing it to one target so that is actually uh, uh, what is meant by the indirect file loading which you can Obviously, and obviously, use it in the FTP connections as well. So this is a small mapping that I have, where uh, we have the source as a flat file, and we are just moving one one column uh, to the target. So you can actually ignore this option as well. I just created it out something so let us go to the workflow manager and select direct source go to mapping tab uh, source files so here you just need to select the source file type as indirect so and you need to give that uh, indirect source uh, dot dat file um, in the in the source file name Or you can say that um, in the FTP connection here because actually you are using we are using the FTP connection right we just need to give this indirect source dot that see I'm giving the absolute uh, path uh, so this will be anyways ignored so I just click OK and let me just show you the contents of indirect source dot that as well to explain more how this indirect file loading is so this is my FTP server this is also my FTP server So you can see the contents that it is having three file with absolute 
uh, with absolute path so let us just see the contents of each file so okay it is just having one column which is first and second okay so it is actually combining all this all the data from all these three files and it will it will write it into one target so let us just um, give the start the session and see the target file I see the session has succeeded so we can we can go and look into our our uh, FTP server so for this session I have used a uh, target also as an FTP server so I just logged into that FTP server machine where the things reside. So you can see that we have just run this uh, a new file getting created. You can just see the output of that target file. And yeah, we see all the all the uh, data from the three files is combined and written in one output so this is also just a file I've just created for multiple multiple targets yeah so that's it for the demo and let us just go to, go back to the summary so as a summary we have just uh, discuss a configuring FTP connection I have discussed about the staged option we also had a, uh, had a demo on the examples of direct flat file loading using FT, FTP and indirect flat file loading. So for the demo part, I've just used the uh, flat files, but you can uh, you can actually use you can actually access or write into the XML files as well using the FTP connection. So for more information, you can uh, go to the advanced workflow guide. Uh, to 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 have a brief uh, reading on the properties that we have used we would love to hear from you uh, on the feedback uh, at support videos at informatica.com and we are also available in twitter at infa support thank you and have a nice day